Welcome back to the YouTube leaderboard project. For those unfamiliar, this is a project of creating a leaderboard of you all. It's based on your interactions with the channel. The more you comment, the better your ranking, which increases the potential for you to win something provided by a sponsor. This could be a laptop that I'm working on, this could be something from NVIDIA, or this could be something as simple as a t-shirt. We finished up last video by putting together the data structure that holds the data needed to populate our leaderboard, with a few things left to resolve like testing it with multiple comments from the same person, a test in which failed. As you can see by the data here, we have two Tinas with one comment each, instead of one Tina with two comments. That's an issue, one that I briefly attempted to address, and after figuring out a way for my loop to avoid adding multiple instances of the same commenter, I couldn't quite figure out the best way to go about taking that data, the engagement points and comment ID, and adding it to the existing commenter. Because for each comment left by Tina, her information should be updated to reflect each comment. I'd like to store each comment in its own array, in which we could check to make sure we haven't already accounted for this comment, and I'd like to update their engagement points to reflect their efforts shown to interacting with the channel. Because the more you comment, the more likely likes and replies you receive on that comment, the more engagement points you earn. That, of course, needs to be reflected as such, considering that's the whole point of the leaderboard. So looking at this data structure, if you have any advice or ideas on the best way to go about updating an object inside an array based on the channel ID of the comment we're currently looking at, I'd love some advice. I decided to forego that issue for the time being so I could put together something a bit more tangible the front end. Getting the data to the front end is simple, just a single line of code in my API.js file to be used wherever I need it on the front end to create our leaderboard. There are many options on going about putting together a leaderboard, like should we put in a table, and if so, which table? Should I test my luck with a pre-existing React leaderboard component? Should it be more custom? Well, in the spirit of last video, after racking my brain trying to figure out the best way, I just decided to choose a way and get started, or should I say, just build it. I may have to backtrack and go about the leaderboard another way, but at least I'll make some progress along the way. I figured the best way to figure out my best option for the leaderboard is to test out the options. So I decided to go with React Table, created by Tanner Lindsley, very customizable, very easy to use, because after all, it's just a hook. So I began. Putting my React table together, just starting out with displaying the viewer names and engagement points by iterating through my data structure, with my first real problem occurring when I decided to implement the image URL so we could see your pretty faces. And this problem is twofold. Trying to figure out how to display the image inside the table, as I'm only getting the URL itself and was unaware of React Table's cell property at this time, and figuring out how to display the image and name in the same cell, which again points us to the cell property. And not without a lot of internet searches and mistakes along the way, I finally figured out how to display the image as I wished and display the name alongside it in the same cell. Also, there is a good chance this is the only bit of code that shows you how to do exactly that, because I truly had to fiddle around and figure it out. Everyone else on the internet had a slightly different need, slightly different use case, which worked in some capacity, but would never display the profile image just right. So save this video for later or take a snapshot here if you plan on doing something similar with React Table. The order of the leaderboard is out of order. We want the viewer with the most engagement points to display at the top and go down from there. React Table has plenty of sorting features as seen in the docs, but instead I decided to go straight to the data structure to avoid any increased load times that may occur on the front end with the other option. Organizing the data structure itself and displaying it as it sits just made a little bit more sense to me. This was just a very simple bit of code I placed before returning our data structure that says if this viewer has more engagement points, put them ahead in the array. And as the data structure is run through, it is being updated which reflects as such in our data structure and our table. Obviously our table isn't the prettiest thing in the world, I still need to add in what is effectively a bar chart to display the engagement points like we have in our mockup, and I need to add the YouTuber from whom this leaderboard is created but this will do for now. It's time to start making this look like an actual website. So let's start at the top and throw in a header. For an MVP, we're only planning on having a leaderboard for the three of us, Ken, Tina, and myself. So naturally, those would be our navigation options. I'm doing a lot of styling here that is fairly straightforward, but also pretty tedious. So I'll spare you all the details on that, which made the header look something like this. And I, uh, I centered the leaderboard too. We will have a sign up button over here, which I'll probably just make as an email sign up for the time being. There's really no need to sign up for an account just yet, but I needed a button over there to balance everything out. Because on the other side, we have our temporary logo that I mocked up for the YouTube leaderboard, which with you seeing this means the cat's out the back. The official name for our YouTube leaderboard is Social Leader. And as of the making of this video, that's where we sit with Social Leader. I've really had a great time doing this and, and working with React really for the first time. So thanks for watching to anyone who may have made it this far and I'll see you next week.